What is going on guys, today we are looking at a Mobile. He is the 89 rated striker and we do have a version of his 89. He does have an 88 in form and this is technically his second in form and the second 89 we've got. In, well, in comparison to the, was it the Europa man, man of the match or something like that, however you pronounce whatever the team is, um, we've got a plus on the dribbling and physicality on this card but we have lost two passing in comparison to that card so we'll have a look at the end of the game or the end of the review anyway to show you the difference between them two and in terms of price at the moment we're looking at like a 30 40k difference which is always nice obviously the dynamics as well are changed which is always a good in my books in comparison to ben Yedda. sneaky sneaky and in terms of stats we're looking all right he's a three star four star six one with a high medium he has got outside of the foot shot which hopefully will come in handy and i'm interested to see what this pace does we've gone with an engine on him just so we know we can get that agility balance up to the max because shooting wise we've got a decent amount he ends up with 93 pace obviously he's 89 shooting with 77 passing 90 dribbling added on to him and it turns him into a 90 rated striker so nothing really too crazy in terms of the increase of the overall but i'm interested to see what this card can do in rivals we've had a little bit of a struggle to say the least so hopefully a big bulky striker somebody who can shoot might actually be a little bit of breath of fresh air we never know so let's jump into him he's coming in at about 55k pretty much across the board i think playstation is about 45 so always bear in mind the differences between consoles and let's see what a mobile can do He's going to find Messi, and that is a stunning first pass. And he absolutely goes to wipe me out into a mobile, goes for the shot. And that is what we need. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. He's making Ben Yedda look a little bit bad there. Manages to get a beautiful through ball into Messi. He does miss out on that tackle, which I believe he would have quit before, obviously, actually getting anything there. And then, obviously, we absolutely slap it back with him. And again on the ball, nothing too crazy there. I feel like we've definitely got a big old unit, a striker here into a mobile. It's going to go for a little ball over the top for Maradona, who's not going to be able to get it. And I feel like that is sometimes what a standalone striker needs. And it's just a little bit of strength, a little bit of passing, and obviously then the ability to just absolutely lever it if needed. Obviously, you're not going to get necessarily your, your kind of dribbling type, somebody who's going to just beat all 11 men and, and kind of just flash it into the net. But it's all about the kind of how the strategic game works. Insigne has got the pace. Looking for that dink of a ball into a mobile. Going to have that heading as well. And it's another different dynamic. And I know heading isn't necessarily a massive thing. But it potentially could be something for him. A mobile. You never know. Give him a hit. Left footed. Solid from him. Little one up. Oh, I don't know why we did it. We should have just kept going. I didn't realize the keeper was coming out. Immobile getting involved so much already. That is very nice to see. I really thought he would struggle. And again, this guy is no walkover. Can we get the header across? Immobile, oh, he nearly has it. He has the touch, but just doesn't have it hard enough to get to Maradona. Finds him here. It's a cracking save from Lloris. Literally moves out of the way from him. We've got a corner. It goes for that header. First time. Oh, we thought we had the left foot, and that's where the weak foot really would come to, to fruition if we had the five-star. Four-star is definitely not bad, though. I will take it. You've definitely got to give it a hit and hope with a four. A mobile pushing it. A cross goal, and that's it. Beautiful. Oh, he nearly gets it through. Vin is going to pick up the pieces. Immobile is running through. It's a big ball across, but he gets the block. We still managed to keep it, though. Going to try and knock one in. One more to a Mobile, And he gets his hat-trick hero. And this guy is making Ben Yedda look like absolute jam. I don't know what it is with tall, big strikers. Zapata is exactly the same. For some reason, they just score for me. Oh, a Mobile dancing. Pings it across. And Vinny is unable to make anything from it, unfortunately. So going into a Mobile's overall review then. So like I say, he's coming in about 50 to 55, depending on what console you're on. And honestly, he is an okay striker. Yes, he's not going to be in your main team. And he's not going to compare to your Ben Yedders, your Mbappes, uh, your... Even, well, to be fair, even Ronaldo. Is, Ronaldo's okay this year, but nothing really too crazy compared. Unless we get a team of the year, team of the season, then obviously he's going to be next level. That's just naturally a 98 or 97 waiting to happen. But in terms of a Mobley, I think the shooting on him is absolutely perfect. And just naturally, his big build attracts the ball and you can pass it you can you can do everything with it the the main thing that you just don't have is you don't have the dribbling 
which is natural. For somebody who's 6'1", bit of a stockier build, you know that he's not going to be able to go past everybody. He can definitely have his strength on, which is hilarious because he only has 79, but he feels like he's got 90. Honestly, it's just crazy what a build can actually do for you. Heading-wise, not bad at all. I think shooting was just absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, the team did let him down in the end, and we did end up conceding at the last minute to make it 4-3, but he managed to get a Hattie, which... It's just, un it, it's crazy that literally I go with Ben Yedda, I go with, or like Davies, go with uh, Felix, and they struggle with this sort of level. Granted, one game is not necessarily going to, or one or two games is not necessarily going to consist compared to hundreds, but for that game, he absolutely slapped it. And I think he did all right. In terms of a striker, he's not necessarily going to be the best in the Serie A, just naturally. There's going to be your Ebras, and even he is a little bit bulky at times. But in terms of kind of like you've got uh, Muriel, incredible striker. You then Simeone, he's doing okay. I still think he's a little bit bulky. Oshiman incredible striker mertens i really enjoyed so there is plenty of big strikers out there that you can go instead of him if we do manage to get to the second in form before going through every other card um obviously this is the difference between the group stage card and him um obviously you're just gaining a dribbling and obviously a physicality but losing out on two passing i'm fine with that if you go in comparison to his other in form it's only plus one. So to be honest, there's not much difference between the two. Only a little bit more of a difference between his gold, which is 87. So again, get him as you will. I would recommend waiting until the promo is kind of full into swing with team of the year. Because more than likely, this guy is going to be packed more than anything. Given a high rated in form out. But obviously, his price is going to be probably below 40k, I can imagine. Depending on what SBCs come out as well. Obviously, counteracting that with obviously having to need them into other SBCs. Like the Icon player pick being repeatable it's always going to try and keep him creeping up a little bit overall wise i'd give him a solid eight out of ten um in terms of everything still plenty to kind of get with him um, more than likely we'll get a team of the season at the end of the year which would be a nice striker again but unfortunately we'll miss out to the more meta strikers that we'll find in in and throughout the game to be honest so hopefully you did enjoy the video make sure you do like and subscribe and i catch you all for the next one peace